Idlib is now the major opposition stronghold. It has served as a launchpad for opposition attacks into Latakia, which is home to Russia's largest foreign surveillance facility, as well as Mayhem Air Base, the strategic center for Russia's military operations in Syria. And if fighting escalates in Idlib, the province could be left in ruin much like Aleppo. On the one hand, by setting up the de-escalation zones agreed upon in Astana, Turkey is trying to prevent Idlib from becoming the next Aleppo. And on the other, Turkey knows that YPG terrorist group may seize the province and open up a corridor from their base in Afrin to the Mediterranean Sea. We will not allow a corridor of terror along our Syrian border. We state this at every chance we get. And after the Idlib operation, we will have the means for taking new initiatives against this. The YPG controls 20% of Syria territory, and most of that is near the northern border with Turkey. In 2015, with U.S. air support, the YPG had connected districts of Jazeera and Kobane across Arab-inhabited areas. By August 2016, YPG flag flew along most of Syria's northern border with Turkey, except for a nearly 100-kilometer stretch that remained under either opposition or Daesh control. But their expansion west of the Euphrates River was stopped by Turkey's cross-border operation called the Euphrates Shield. Now, Turkey's upcoming operation may succeed depending on whether the Russian-Turkish agreement holds.